Never apparently. Welcome back, guys. Saw Scott on TV here. Just watched Hibs versus Rangers, and I'll be completely honest, man. I'm fucking sick of the decisions that the old firm clubs get. It's a fucking disgrace. Uh, time and time again, Celtic Rangers getting all the decisions, screwing all our teams. This was not a penalty. It's a, it's a blatant dive. It's a blatant dive for Ryan Kent. Yes, poor TS sticks his leg out, but he pulls it back in. Uh, now, you can argue that there may have been <laughs> that was there a slight contact. <laughs> Maybe, but he's pulling his leg back out. There's no way. There's, Kent's already thrown himself to the ground. It's, it's embarrassing, man, that a grown man, you know, gets on like that. You, you see fucking other sports. Like, I mean, I know you can't really compare, but Jesus Christ, you've got boxing where people are taking punches in the face, yet in football, <laughs> the guy in anticipating contacts, throwing himself to the ground like a fucking pansy, man. Unreal. And I, I, as a Hearts fan, like, I actually feel bad for him because that's twice now. Uh, they've been screwed this season by Rangers first in the league when the Portes got sent off what well, wasn't a red card he won the ball he clearly won the ball and then tonight it wasn't a penalty and they've gave a penalty and Chris Boyd's even Chris Boyd is debating whether he says he doesn't know whether VAR would give it and he, he's saying it's a soft penalty and Chris Boyd's one of the most biased uh, pundits out there and even he's saying it's a soft penalty so a soft penalty in Chris Boyd's world translation that means fucking no penalty never a penalty but it was given you know Rangers scored and this I ain't got, I ain't got nothing against Rangers but the fact is like, you can deny this if you want most fans are biased as fuck I'm not I'll admit it Hearts played Mullowell about what two months ago we were given two penalties I say one of them was very soft and the other one wasn't a penalty so I'm admitting personally I wouldn't have gave either penalty that we got against Mullerwell so there's me admitting we got two penalties on that occasion that weren't penalties but fucking Rangers fans will never admit it you will never get a Rangers fan that comes on here and says I know you're right you know it wasn't a penalty Kent dived it was very soft you, you won't get that because they're all brain dead bastards and they have to you know they have, if, they, if their player gets a if their player goes down or if they get a penalty then they have to agree with it you know they have to defend their team and I mean it's not about defending your team it's not about supporting your team or being loyal it's about telling the fucking truth right you either get penalties it's either a foul or it's not and this was not a foul man it was a blatant dive by Ryan Kent and the, the old firm get away with it it's, it's happened for fucking years and it'll continue to happen for years the, a, a team if that's at Ibrox and Martin Boyle goes down like that, he never in a million year gets a penalty. Tomorrow night when Hearts play Celtic, if, I don't know, if, Boy if Boyce goes down like that in the box in that same scenario, he's not getting a penalty, guys. It's just no happening. It wasn't a penalty. And uh, that's pretty much it. The game itself, boring. Um, no nothing really to say. It was a fucking shite game. I'm, I'm not going to say it was great, I'm not going to lie. It was, it was crap. I thought Rangers probably edged it just due to the fact they had more chances. But, uh, I mean, really, there, were, there was nothing. I mean, Morelos should have scored just for half time. And then second half, I mean, the Hibs had like a... Maybe like two <laughs> two opportunities that were not bad, but nothing really clear cut. And then Kent had a, you know, um, a good strike that was headed over the bar by Portes. But apart from that, man, that this was a dreadful game of football. So expecting a good game, expecting goals, but then they get it. What we got was a dodgy penalty late from time. Rangers get the win. They move now seven points clear of Celtic at the top of the league. And uh, I, I will argue all day long this was not a penalty, man. Just fucking wasn't. I'll be interested to see if there's any Rangers fans that agree that this wasn't a penalty. I mean, you might get one, but I'm not going to hold my breath because I'll probably be dead if I hold my breath because I'm going to assume that the comments section is going to be filled with hateful comments. People saying you're a Tig, you're a Celtic fan, this and that. I'm not. I'm a fucking honest person and, and it wasn't a penalty. Right, it was not apparently, and that's twice new hips have been screwed this season. Half Rangers, and uh, you know what? Who knows? I mean, Hearts will probably get screwed tomorrow. If it's nil nil and Celtic need a late goal, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if they get a penalty tomorrow as well. That's how the cookie crumbles. You know, that's how the uh, the Scottish football works. Protect the protect the old farm. You know, what I mean, they've already got all the finances, they've got all the money, they've got the best players. They don't really need any extra help, but the officials, if, if need be, will jump in and you know be the twelve man as well. So, uh, unreal, guys. Anyway, it's finished tonight. Hibs one, Rangers nil. Shite game, wasting ninety minutes. Wish I never watched it, but I did. And uh, hi, so I thought I'd make this video. But that's it, man. Uh, more gaming fits tomorrow on Sun Scotland ninety. Thanks for watching. Um, obviously, I'll be watching the Hearts Celtic game tomorrow. I'll be doing a review in that. Might do a preview as well. Yeah, that's it, guys. Till next time. Peace.